Hey everybody, you know me, it's Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. Hope everyone's doing well today. I've got a four bedroom, two hallway, living room, a crazy little attic space, and a staircase. About 2,400 square foot, I think it's a total house. And I did run completely out of Green Dragon, so this carpet's not that dirty. It really wouldn't require Dragon Fire, but uh, that's all I have on the truck. I've placed an order for a case of Green Dragon. The only one that they had at the end cap store was unscented. I usually get the lemon scent, and that way I can tell people they're getting a clean deodorization, you know, mild deodorizer, which is the lemon, and protection, it crystallizes, and so that's an anti-resoiling. I'm going to put about six scoops, these are two ounce scoopers, so I'll do about four, four gallons of water, so, and normally if it was heavily soiled, you would put four scoops, eight ounces, and two gallons. So I'm only putting 12 ounces in 4 gallons, and this stuff dissolves real easy. The Dragon products are my go-to, I mean, I've been doing carpet cleaning for years, and these products are just absolutely amazing, they make my job so much easier. And I'm not telling you go out and buy Green Dragon or buy, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, but if you want a good product you know because people always ask me i'll tell you if there was something better out there i would definitely be looking for it i'm using the auric orbiter today and the works gun sprayer and i'll just be dropping the hose into my five gallon bucket and blasting the carpets with about 125 psi from the gun cordless best investment i ever bought $57 on eBay, it says refurbished by the manufacturer, sold by the manufacturer in fact, but it seems brand new to me, it's crazy. And these are white carpets, so you'll see probably a little shadowing and some darker areas as I go through, but uh, I'll show you the final results, comes out absolutely amazing. You see what I mean with this? You don't have to stop. You don't have to pump up a sprayer. And you're getting, I mean, maximum pre-spray. In fact, this bucket will do the whole house, 2,400 square foot. So I will spray a little heavier in the traffic lanes, like in front of the couch. And I'll spray a little lighter, just mist on the outside, because as the pads um, oscillating through the home and cleaning, it's picking up moisture. So on those outside areas that really are clean, never been stepped on, the pad will have, will be damp from the other areas. And I'm choosing to use the Glad Pad. It'll take me four Glad Pads today. They're 100% cotton, all pretty absorbent, that's why I'm doing it. Sometimes I use the Iron Man, but on this one, uh, since it's a white carpet, I thought the Glad pads, they're like a flat towel almost, would absorb more of the soil out. Keep in mind on a VLM, very low moisture cleaning, you're going to uh, you know, do your best to absorb, uh, I'd say 97% to 98% of your soils through your pad system. And then what you'll do is um, groom it, and then any remaining soil that might be on the carpet will be um, crystallized by the Green Dragon or the Dragon Fire like I'm using today. And that's kind of an anti-resoiling agent. It won't re-enter the fiber, and as they do their next couple regular vacuuming sessions, it will get cleaner and cleaner each time. So no residue, no wick back. It'll be fantastic. And I do have a little bit of a noise. I'm using the Challenger 
pad driver which was designed to be used with the Auric Orbiter. And if you've seen it, you can go to challenger.com. They call it a 10 inch pad driver. It's made of wood. Uh, this is the second edition and it really it's really good. I mean, this is the best pad driver I've ever had for the Auric. Um, but what happens is, you know, I'm up in kind of a colder, humid area. It rains a lot in the state of Washington. And I'm way up on the tip, uh, surrounded by water. So I don't know if that affects the wood, leaving it out in my van. I think it expanded a little bit. So it doesn't fit snug on the Auric um, pad cup. And I've tried putting a little, um, what do you call it, duct tape around it and to secure it, but I can't get it on there even. So I'm gonna try some other methods and see if I can get it to tighten up, but really it's not a big deal, but that little clunking sound is um, just the loose driver. So stay tuned with me, and I'll come back here a little further along in the video. I'm going to show this room uh, cleaning in its entirety. The You saw the pre-spray of the vacuuming, um, I didn't show that. I did that prior to this step here, simply because I had some problems when I was in here, the vacuum was actually the shakeout bag was full and I didn't realize you can't see through those bags on the sanitaire so I had to go out and dump it and come back in get a, get it all set back up and so I just decided I would pre-vacuum real quick since there was a lot of area to cover and then I'd show you part of the cleaning so the, the first step obviously would be vacuuming thoroughly and then pre-spray and my recommendation is if you have a good pre-sprayer like the Works, that's W-O-R-X, you'll get a nice steady flow and it allows you to put the uh, cleaning solution down evenly and heavier in the areas that need it. And I will say, um, especially with an Auric Orbiter, it the Works is a game changer because you really are, I've noticed with the Auric, I did almost a whole year with just the Auric, I noticed that the pad picks up more soil faster and the carpet looks cleaner when I'm done because um, by, play, by putting down a little extra solution, you know, the chemical and the water is the vehicle that transports the soil to your pad. So if you don't have enough, you're not gonna remove the soil. So just keep that in mind. And you can see that little traffic area right here where I'm working on. All that is, is while it's damp, I put you know extra solution on there. It's gonna appear a little darker in that area while it's damp until I groom it and it dries. And the reason it does that is the fibers, when you walk on them, they get um, wear and tear. So unlike that back upper left hand corner where no one's walked, the fibers are really super tight like when it was new and they reflect the light or they give off a sheen look. And when you walk on an area of the carpet over and over and over, which is normal, it's your traffic area, the fibers start to open up and split apart, fray a little bit. And if you don't vacuum as often as you should, um, then the sand and soils and things that are in the fiber act like sandpaper, you know, when you're walking on it, especially if you wear shoes in the house. So keep that in mind, but all it is is right here, it's an optical illusion. Once I get it done, um, it'll all piece together and look fantastic, especially when it dries. And if there is any soil in those areas that someone's worried about, because I sprayed it heavy, it's encapsulated. It will crystallize the soil. And if I didn't get it out with the Auric Orbiter, you'll get it out with your vacuum. So it's a, actually a two 
verification process like they say on the internet when you <laughs> when you have a phone or a uh, different app um, security passwords it's a two-step verification process so I'm gonna verify I get as much soil out on my pad and then if I don't don't worry about it it'll crystallize and you'll vacuum it out so there you go and I will move the camera back here in just a moment so you can see where I'm at and what I'm doing and like I said this is a pretty pretty good sized house I could have brought my 175 in today, but it was pouring rain. I parked in the garage, which was nice. And I thought, you know, I haven't used my Auric Orbiter and this one's not that dirty. Um, it, it, it's funny because, you know, compared to steam cleaning, I find this low moisture method to be enjoyable. It's almost therapeutic for me. It's crazy, but you know, I like seeing the results that I get. I like the ease of the process. You know, and I know other people, you know, there's people that like to watch vacuuming, so they understand. It's kind of a, almost a mental, like a therapeutic, like I said, it's a relaxing thing for me, which is good. I mean, if you have something that relaxes you when you're working, that's fantastic. see it's cutting through and like I said it is a like a white carpet so you're gonna see some strange patterns as I move the machine in different directions but I'm just concerned with getting the soil up this is a move-in vacant move-in so it's not a move out but the people just bought the house they wanted to go ahead and have their own cleaning done. I'm sure when the house was being shown, they must have cleaned it prior to showing the house. So this is almost like a touch up. Although when you see the pads, boy, I couldn't believe how dirty the pads got. Picked up a lot of soil and I attribute that to the dragon fire. You know, the dragon fire is a step up from the green dragon. The green dragon, I think, is about 8.5 on the pH. Then on the dragon fire, they bump up the pH to about 10.5. And it's got an oxy in it, which is probably a hydrogen peroxide. And some other uh, agents that help clean a little better. And again, you don't have to worry about the high pH if it starts as a powder, um, well, this particular product is made by chemists and designed to be used on carpet. And the Green Dragon can be used on wool. The Dragon Fire is a little higher pH. It should only be used on synthetics. But both products dry to a crystal. I have some pictures I think I posted on my page where it shows in a petri dish what happens you put some peppercorn in there and you could see the product dries and it adheres to the little pieces of peppercorn like little uh, little icicles hanging off the roof I guess it sticks like that all over the the debris and the dirt so that it won't re-enter the fabric it'll be drawn up when you vacuum but anyway, the, the pH, like I said, that's you don't have to worry. It's soap-free, residue-free. It's not going to leave a residue. The pH is it's almost inert on this product, kind of like, like ammonia is inert, but it, there's no ammonia in this product. And the other thing, if you're a new person and you're getting in this business, I always recommend just get the Green Dragon Lemon Scent. You can advertise clean, deodorize, and protect all included in your room rate and then you don't have to worry um, you know as as far as if you're going to damage something or whatnot and like I said the product was designed to be used on carpet so you're using a product that was designed so it's got special wetting agents and things in it so that it penetrates it deeper into a thicker fabric unlike uh unlike using, I guess, laundry soap. 
you know, you're not going to have, uh, you're not going to wash your wool coat or your jacket or stuff like that. You know, you're going to take that probably to the dry cleaners, but most laundry soaps penetrate thinner, you know, jean type material and whatnot. So keep that in mind. And this is the groomer. A lot of people ask me about my groomer that I use. And I choose to use, it's almost, you could use a deck brush. But what I found is this brush, you know, is it glides across the carpet. So it's easier than vacuuming, trust me. And you can get two of these for $20 on Amazon. And it just lays the triangles in there beautifully. And you don't have to bear down. You can actually just stand back. And I took, it comes with two poles, you know, that you put together. And then uh, two of the brush heads. But what I did, since I'm only using one brush at a time, I took one of the extra poles from the second one that came with it and added it to this so that I have a much longer pole. And what that does is it allows me to grip from the top and push the brush. Oh, I can go almost seven feet if I want to and put seven foot triangles in there. And you can see just gently, gently go along. You don't have to be in a hurry. Um, but if you look behind me, this is how the carpet looks when it's done. And you can rake it with a regular rake and the pile will, will stand up. You just won't have the triangles. And when I'm completely done here, um, this step right here, in my opinion, is just definitely worth it. You know, if you were to just leave it and say, yeah, it's clean or get it all even, it's clean. Um, that's fine. And some people, that's all they want. But... I get such a big raving response from customers. You know, they'll come in and go, oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. And it's just an aesthetics. It's something that's ground into people's heads. That clean carpet is either, it either has those nice vacuum triangles um, or it has the um, cleaning triangles, you know, from the wand. And, you know, we're not hiding anything or I'm not hiding anything. Everybody knows I have low moisture and I tell them ahead of time when I book the job. Um, some of them, I, I send them a video that shows me doing exactly this when they say they don't understand so they can see the whole process. And I don't have any problems getting work. You know, no, nobody's turning me down. And my regular customers, when I used to be steam cleaning, they're not turning me down. And in fact, I get, I can't believe how much work I have. It's just the very first, Jan this January of 2021, uh, if it continues, I think I, I may end up hiring um, an additional helper to work with me. And that's because I'm doing a lot of big jobs. I'm getting these you know, four bedroom, living room, dining room, office stairs, and there's a lot of square footage and I get where they want, you know, two, three jobs that are that size each day, five days a week. This is the other room. I spared you the cleaning part of it. It's got a master closet. It was pretty soiled. I'll show you the pads. It came out beautiful. And of course, you're looking at the after grooming and there you can see this is one of the rooms upstairs and in there is an attic I, and I turn the light off so you can't see it but it goes way back I had to crawl in there with the auric which was amazing you couldn't have done it without the auric but uh, she wanted that done and then, so there's three rooms up here. There was the one in the back plus the attic. So I should say four rooms. The attic is a room. And then there's two here. This one on the left. And then a matching room on the right. All cleaned up by the Auric Orbiter. Groomed and looking fantastic. I couldn't have done a better job 
with my bigger machine or my steam cleaner. You just got to get the right chemicals, get the right uh, amount laid down, and do your steps. You know, vacuum, pre-spray, pre-spot. Uh, then go over it, shampoo with the pads, agitate if you need to with the brush. And you can see this brush does a great job of grooming the stairs. It puts those triangles on it. So I've already cleaned the little loft area right there. And then you go down. All I do is put the triangles in and I brush the riser, the front, straight down. Here's the four pads. I used both sides. Pretty dirty. Lights off in here right now, but you could see it's starting to dry even better. Got my tripod, I'm enjoying that. Everything's wrapped up, ready to be put away. I'll show you here at the end, the lower section of stairs. You could see the transition area up there came out beautiful. Look at those triangles, even on the staircase. I do the triangles and then I sweep to the right on the bullnose. Keeps it all uniform. I'll turn off the lights. And I have my triangle brush. I'm going to take that out. I was parked in the garage. I pulled my vehicle out, closed the garage. And this was a lockbox situation. Those are my favorite. Um, I'm there by myself so I can get it done in a timely manner and I don't skip any steps. I make sure that my final product looks fantastic. So there you go. Lock it up. I'll put the key away. This is my lunch break. I'm doing the voiceover. I just have one more job to do, but it's a big one. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next episode.